Six decades ago, they were lying in the same Dallas hospital ward, battling one of the most feared childhood diseases in the world. And now, two polio survivors are coming together as adults to look back on experience that they would rather forget. Here's Jobin Panager. She's lived with it for 65 years. It shows in a very subtle limp in the left leg. Everybody was afraid of the disease. When polio hit in the 1950s, hundreds of children in the Dallas area were taken to Parkland. Sue Perry was four years old. The whole ward just erupted in crying when those lights would dim. The sign for parents to leave after a short visit. But she also remembers another young child in the polio ward 20 feet from her. Just the iron lung, the yellow iron lung that fascinated me. And, and I knew who it was. I knew it was Paul. An iron lung like this. Paul Alexander of Dallas still uses it to help him breathe. What is it? They meet again after 65 years. Hello. Hi, Paul. It was a real surprise. Yeah. yeah. I, didn't, I didn't expect to meet anybody from there. Only Sue remembered Paul, but they both remember a very scary time. This we were the, uh, the warriors, the, the fighters still are. He was so excited to meet somebody and share something that we both had experienced. They both survived. Paul, an attorney, Sue, started a family. She's always wondered about the young boy in the yellow iron lung, 20 feet apart in a polio ward, and now in a room making up for lost time. Jobin Panicker, Channel 8 News. Nice.